stop, stop, genocide! The UN has released a 48-page long report on the condition of Uyghur Muslims in China's Xinjiang region. Around 10 million Uyghur Muslims reside in the western region of Xinjiang. While the United States have accused China of genocide, UN has not particularly used the word genocide but has raised a lot of concern over these grave human rights violations. The UN has validated human rights groups and activists' claims that China has indeed detained Uyghur Muslims, Kazakhs and others, often for having overseas ties or even for expressing their religious faith. How is China accused of treating Uyghur Muslims? Well, more than 10 million Uyghur and other Muslim minorities in China are forcibly held in mass detention camps in the Xinjiang province, where they face countless human rights abuses from forced labor, coerced sterilization, and destruction of their culture and religious identity. In fact, United Nations interviewed at least 26 former detainees, Uyghur Muslims, and two-thirds of them described that they were immensely tortured and ill-treated. They say that they were forced to take medical treatment. There are also mentions of sexual and gender-based violence, including that of rape of people within the custody and also adverse conditions of detention. The UN has now asked China to promptly release all those people who have been arbitrarily confined. In fact, UN has also asked China to clarify the whereabouts of all those people who have gone missing after the alleged torture. China, of course, has refuted all these allegations. Chinese ambassador to the United Nations in New York, Zhang Jun, has said that China completely opposes this report. He said that UN human rights chief should not interfere in China's internal affairs. China has also asked United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachel, to bury the report last month. However, she released it just minutes before her four-year term ended on August 31st. China indeed witnessing huge humanitarian crisis. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.